Hello curling fans and welcome back inside the Nutana Curling Club here in sunny Saskatoon, Saskatchewan for Saturday action. That's a lot of S's in a row here at the SGI Canada Best of the West, the final round robin draw for the women and a big clash here between Team Alberta 1, Serena Gray Withers, and Team BC 1, Taylor Reese Hansen. A battle of the hyphenated skips here on Saturday morning. The winner of this game is into the playoffs, potentially has that all-important semi-final bye. The loser could be in, could be out. There's a lot going on here. Today, I'll walk you through all the playoff scenarios as we go through the game. But needless to say, very important game for these two teams, both needing a win to guarantee a spot in the playoffs. It's going to be a great one. Thank you so much for joining us here, whether you're watching on the Curling Canada or Curling Zone YouTube channels. John Cullen here with you. It's going to be a good one. So both these teams coming into this game sitting at a three and one record. So Obviously, the winner will move to four and one. As I said, guaranteed a playoff spot. Abby Marks is playing Graceland Richards out here this morning. If Abby Marks wins that game, then they will finish top of the pool and will get the bye to the semifinal. They have beaten both Reese Hansen and Gray Withers. They're responsible for each of those teams' one loss. So if Abby Marks wins, they are in to the semifinal no matter what. However, if Abby Marks loses, then the winner of this game will get that bye to the semifinal. And then there's Emily Cherwinski sitting at two and two, but if they beat Bailey Cosma, they could potentially get themselves into a playoff scenario as well. They would need Abby Marks to lose to create a three-way tie. Abby Marks did lose to Emily Cherwinski in the first game. So if Abby Marks is at three and two, yep, Emily Cherwinski is at three and two, and one of these two teams is at three and two, then it would go to last stone draw. So 
As we say, lots of playoff implications here on Saturday, and it's a aggressive start from both teams. Center guard up for Reese Hansen, corner guard up for Gray Withers. I'll be updating you on all the other games out here this morning. Playoff implications in the other pool as well. Emily Bowles needing a win over team Christy Watling to get them into the playoff conversation. Jessica Wytrychowski playing Kayla Skurlick. The winner there will get the bye to the semi in the other pool. Wytrychowski undefeated so far through the event. And then we have those crucial Cherwinski, Cosma, and Marks Richards games to keep an eye on as well. And rounding out the lineup, Sherry Just playing Holly Halfley. That one is uh, just for bragging rights. Actually, no, sorry, Holly Halfley is at two and two. So uh, they would also need a win to potentially get themselves into the playoff picture. So something on the line in every single game here this morning, which is what we love to see. Out of a curling tournament, Zoe Cinnamon going to ignore this situation in the middle here for Alberta One and draw around the corner guard. And that's a lovely shot from Zoe. And we will meet this team, Reese Hansen, out of the Victoria Curling Club in Victoria, British Columbia. They are BC1 here at the Best of the West. Skip is Taylor Reese Hansen, third, Megan McGillivray. Second is Sierra Fisher, who we're seeing throw now. And lead is Sydney Brills. Line's good. <laughs> Top four, T. Line's good, there we go. Yeah. This team, the 2023 BC Scotties bronze medalists. And curling fans may be familiar with Taylor Reese Hansen from her recent mixed doubles performance. Her and partner Corey Chester made it to the quarterfinals at the Canadian National Mixed Doubles just a couple weeks ago in Fredericton. So we're going to see an attempt here at a triple peel for Brianna Great Cullen. Quarters. This Team Grey Withers, Alberta won here at the Best of the West out of the Savile Sports it. Center in Edmonton, Alberta. Skip is Serena Grey Withers third, Catherine Clifford second, Brianna Cullen, and lead is Zoe Cinnamon. They are the highest ranked team in the world, sitting at number 24 currently in the world rankings. And again, if you're a national curling fan, probably familiar with this team as they just won the U Sports Championship also in Fredericton. And that's very nice from Brianna Cullen. Doesn't disturb that red stone, staggers those corner guards. Very nice. Uh, but yeah, they won the U Sports Championship, beating Waterloo in the final there. And they're hoping to get into the Universiade next year as well. I talked about that if you watched the game with them earlier, but a, a strange qualifying process for the Universiade. You have to apply to get into it. They have the current host and the next host getting automatic buys, and then the top three teams from the last Universiade also get in. So that leaves three spots and you simply apply to World Curling to get in. And obviously with their world ranking of number 24, you'd have to think they're a favorite to get that spot, but they won't know until July. Nice shot there from Sierra Fisher. So that'll definitely be a storyline worth keeping an eye on. Would love to see these four young women get the opportunity to play in Italy at the Universiade. That's, uh, it's turned into quite the tough tournament as well. You know, back in the back in the older days, it was uh, you know maybe you'd see quite a few of the you know the usual countries, the favorites uh, being competitive there. But now it's uh, a lot of the teams they train together at the same university. A lot of the uh, international teams. And so they're very familiar with playing with each other. And that's one thing Gray Withers has going for them as well out of the famed University of Alberta program. But sometimes with Canadian universities being so spread out, you 
you know, you don't get a regular curling team that all plays together, Are maybe a couple team members. It but is uh, a lot of the international teams all go to the same university. So you end up with some very strong teams there. So the debate here for Team Reese Hansen is whether to guard this yellow stone. It's not in a particularly good spot for guarding. It's Tough also one. not shot. Even 40. So they're, uh, or no, maybe it is shot. Tough to tell from my angle. Let's see here. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's really hard to tell. It's close. But uh, yeah, typically you don't guard a rock in the top eight without the hammer. So we're going to see Megan McGillivray try to cancel out this red stone around the corners. Little soft, yep. but early, hard early. Yeah. Yep. Brills and Fisher picking this up early. This is really curling. I think this is going to be all over that corner guard. The, uh, the rocks were sharpened last night. And there was just a, you know, a little concern that uh, the ice was straightening out a bit. So all the curlers were informed and uh, last night the rocks were papered. So we'll keep an eye out, see if there's a little bit more curl. Definitely looks like so far in this first end, the, uh, this sheet is curling more than it was yesterday. We have seen all week that the uh, this particular sheet is very very quick. We've seen it up to 16 for draw weight. So that should come down a little bit if the rocks are curling more. But we'll see how things have changed this afternoon. As Catherine Clifford trying to put another one around this corner, you need to hold it straight to be shot over that yellow, which it's not. But there are two buried behind the corners and. Team Reese Hansen will have a decision here. Are you still just trying to come here? Okay. So going to try to just tuck a piece around that rock that Catherine Clifford just threw. Not easy. Yeah, positive is great here. You got it. This is close. Don't want to oversweep it for weight. And that was a little overswept there. I mean, they had to go for the line, but you could have, if you knew it was heavy, tried to play to tick off of that top red and sit in front. But uh, unfortunately, a little miscommunication there, and that slides right through the house. So this will allow Catherine Clifford to hit this, and all of a sudden, Alberta won shaping up a big end early. Yeah, that was definitely, particularly that turn, that intern going away we saw over the last few days, that really hung there. It was very straight, even with less weight. It really wouldn't get a ton of curl. And so you see there with that kind of bored weight from Catherine Clifford, it did have quite a bit of nice movement. So the rock sharpening doing its job here so far. Hey guys, y'all. Yeah, they are. I saw one of theirs in this spot and it got some movement, so. So this is pretty big for Taylor Reese Hansen. If you don't make the roll behind the corner guard here, or God forbid you ever roll out, it might bring four into play. This might be your only chance to get at that first shot stone. So big yep. shot here yep. for Taylor yep. Reese Hansen. Sierra Fisher on it right out of the hand. This is close. Get it. 
Great shot from Taylor Reese Hansen. Cross house double. Plants it right there. Do you think I can push this? And now BC1 is shot. Had to have it, and they yeah, did. I think so. Almost overswept. Ended up kissing that top red one, but. To be one and two? Really good shot. Into the top of the five. I'm not sure how far that's pushing. Maybe. I think I like this, Serena. Okay. You know the ice here. So you can see that, uh, that they, made, Serena will be able With to see a sliver of that yeah. yellow stone from the hack. And they were just trying to think of if there was a way to keep that back red into play, in, in play, you know, and keep it alive as a potential counter. Because probably if you're coming down and tapping this, it it's just going to so, end up yeah. going right onto that red one, and it's never going to end up scoring. And it's nice and quick. But uh, if Serena so makes this, it, it will set them up nicely for okay. two. Okay. Okay. You got it. Okay. So you heard them say back eight here. Just looking to move this yellow rock out of being shot and lie too. Yep. Yep. Then. Nice. Whoa. 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 Cullen on this right out of the hand. Yes. Off and now. This is close. This is close. Got to get by that top red, and they just let it go a little bit too long. And so that will spill into the ah. open. Really close. Try to tend this way. That was uh, unfortunate there for Team Alberta. Seemed if they had maybe stayed on the sweep the entire time, might have had a chance at it. But again, these teams just adjusting to these uh, these rocks being sharpened and getting a little bit more curl okay there. Here, but a little flop under would be nice. Just stay close here, Sid. It does seem to go pretty good. Yeah, I'll keep a light clean on it to start and yep. go from there. Okay, Tina, nice strong side. Got it, buddy, just like you can. So they're going to try and roll under everything. I think a nose hit here is probably okay, too. You're probably getting the force either Here's way. Solid. Whoa, whoa. Clean. Yep, 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 ah! yep. Last rock here for yeah. Taylor Reese Hansen. Ah! Just have to make sure your yellow ah! stays in the house. Ah! And that was exactly where they wanted it. So really nice pair there from Taylor Reese Hansen and Serena Gray Withers will be forced to draw for one. Should be close there. So final stone here in the first for Serena Gray Withers needs a piece of the forefoot for her single. Line's good. I think a little down. Top four. Really curling. Line's good. Moving big. Hard guys. Cullen and Cinnamon trying to drag this here. This is really go, curling. Go, go. This is go, really go, curling. Go, 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 go. Can they get it there for the single point? Oh, that's going to be close. I think it is red, though. Yeah, that felt. Can I move this? Yeah. yeah. I'm seeing one red. Yeah, one red. And it is indeed one red. So just enough of a sweep from Cullen and Cinnamon gets it there. One on the board for Alberta. Taylor Reese Hansen will have the hammer for the first time when we come back.
doubt running any kind of farm comes with day-to-day -day challenges. We built a new facility two years ago. Technology has totally revolutionized dairy farming. Fast Milk gives us the tools to provide high quality standard of milk, making sure our equipment is all well taken care of, make sure that those animals are housed and cared for appropriately. They continue to push us with their standards to make sure that it just gets better and better. The live sports experience is changing. Teams and facilities are under pressure to provide online and in-venue entertainment. IKS Live has the right team to deliver. We provide service across North America and produce the best fan experience, in the seats or streaming to you. IKS Live continues to bring you the best seat in the house. So it was a first end where things were looking very good for Alberta, potential two or three on the board, but Taylor Reese Hansen with an end saving shot and ends up forcing Serena Gray Withers to her single. Okay. And so with the first one in the house for Alberta, we actually see BC go after it. So just into the house again four here nine. for Top Zoe eight. Cinnamon, and we'll see if it is Team BC's plan to hey. maybe chase a blank here. Actually, I would think that nine. given yeah. okay. that Zoe's first redstone wasn't in a tremendous spot, that uh, we are going to see a hit here. No, we are going to see the corner. Okay. okay. Often when you see the delayed corner, it's uh, because the first stone is in a really good spot. So, you know, the lead makes it to the top four and you want to sort of dare them to make it again so you hit it or they have to hit you and they roll off of the forefoot. I like it. Little time. Three, two, three. Little time. And then you throw the corner guard, but uh, given the first one wasn't Line in a great now. spot and they hit three. it, kind of made me think Line that maybe they were going to be chasing the blank here. Want to be tight here though, guys. Need to be tight. Hard guys need to be tight. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, good sweep. Good sit. Good sit. In any event, corner guard up, and now we'll see the center guard go up for Gray Withers. So the guard a little bit high there from Brianna Cullen. This should allow Sierra Fisher to get at it. We talked about Serena Gray Withers being one of the highest ranked teams in the field. Wasn't a, wasn't a great year for Team Reese Hansen on tour. They missed the playoffs at the BC Scotties and uh, didn't qualify in quite a few of the tournaments they were in. They sit at 95 in the world currently, but as we said off the top, a team definitely with pedigree, a, a BC's bronze medal two years ago. Taylor with some national mixed and mixed doubles experience and Taylor and Sydney also both former BC junior champions. 
But an unfortunate miss there for Sierra Fisher, and this will allow Brianna Cullen to put a better guard up or come right to it. Yeah, they're just talking about top 12 here. Biting top 12 would be decent. Okay, 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, it's an uh, unfortunate spot for that as now Team BC can make the double and roll behind Fish the corner here. guard. Okay. Just over curling on them a little bit and that, that actually you had a little more here. weight than Serena was calling. So to see it curl here? that much okay. with okay. the added weight okay, you got it. definitely okay. shows that uh, like, yeah. there's going to be an adjustment here for these teams as they start to figure out exactly how much curl is out here. The, uh, the men played with the sharpened rocks this morning, but uh, you'll still feel that for a while. And that was a, a definite outward pitch there from Sierra Fisher, unfortunately, and this is gonna fly by everything. It's an unfortunate miss. That was a really good opportunity to not only kill both reds, but maybe roll behind your corner. And now all of a sudden, Gray Withers is gonna be able to really take control of the top of the house here. So in the other games we're paying attention to, Abby Marks out to a 2-0 lead over Graceland Richards. Again, if Abby Marks wins that game, they will be first place in the pool and it would officially eliminate Emily Cherwinski. Cherwinski, though, so far doing their job. They, or no, sorry, they blanked the first end, looks like, against Saskatchewan. So we'll, we'll keep you posted. Curl. 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 Yep, that's fine. So nice shot there from five, five. Catherine Clifford right on top. Do you not like my curl? Still seeing this. I'm just fighting the slide. And then... But uh, yeah, I think there would be a triple here for Megan McGilvery. The Abby Marks game is definitely interesting for these two teams. Obviously, if Abby Marks wins, then it means neither of these teams get the bye to the semi. But also, if Abby Marks wins, it means both of these teams are guaranteed to be in the playoffs. And so they'll get rid of two, but the yellow will not stick around. So Team Alberta still lying one without the hammer here. If you're tight, that's okay. That was full eight. Yeah, with a good hold tight on this. So Brianna Cullen hitting this one a little early. Curl. No, 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 no. That's good. And that's a good shot there from Catherine Clifford. Double guarded up now, and I wonder if we'll see BC come around everything. Yeah, I think for BC, they're just it's just a little too late to peel here. Only three rocks to come, and with the distance between those two guards, be very tough to get rid of everything. So wrap around everything is the call here for Megan McGillivray. Line's really good. Can they get it there? They got to get by. Wow, that really dove at the end. Line looked quite good, but 
just catches a piece of that red and certainly yeah, and Serena can get at that yellow. Yeah, or you could even could probably get too much nose, but then she has yeah. a double and roll, so. Yeah, I like, I like half. Okay. And there is really close, I think. Yeah. Do not have much of it. Hack. Thank you. Oh. Almost face went. Yeah. I think this is neutral to min, but I don't want to take too much because I think with weight it'll track nice. So yeah. yeah. I'll give you true 12-5. Okay. The chase is on here for Serena Gray Withers. You heard 12-5, so. Just uh, a little bigger than hack oh, weight here. Yep. Yep. Yes. Hack. Hard. Little out. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Little solid. Yep. Yep. Roll it. Big Definitely want to roll away big here. Big yeah, nice shot there from Serena Gray Withers. Alberta lies too. Great. Really good sweep. Yeah. Even if we overroll it a bit and show a piece this side, it's not bad. What? Ten? What? Yeah. Just hit and roll here? Yeah, exactly. Just like you can, buddy. Yeah. I'm just telling Maggie, and if we roll it to edge of four this way, it's not bad. Yeah. Different spot, right? Agreed. Okay, nice 10 here. You got it. So we saw Taylor Reese Hansen make a great hit and roll last end. We'll see if she can do it again here. Yeah. And won't get the roll either way, so it is still Serena Gray Withers lying one and definitely has the option to draw around everything here. Or just knows. Well, if you, what happens if you come here? What does yeah. she have for multiple? Nothing. You can almost throw either. Oh, yeah, you have fine. your tolerances top four through back <laughs> I think that is really <laughs> Top button. Yep. We're shot, so I think that this will put the pressure on her. Yeah. Um, this is about two broom heads more than John in the pin. Okay, I still think it'll run similar. Okay. So we saw in yeah, this path, path a, a couple Zoe, Zoe so Cinnamon so rocks really curled here. They're taking a little bit more ice, but. Can I give you like the same that I gave you last end ish? Yeah, very similar. Okay. Okay. We'll see how this reacts in this path. Last rock here for Gray Withers in the second. I think that's down. Lines close. Shade tight. Top eight. Running. Top four. Full four. Shade tight. 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 Four. Backy. Whoa. Back four. Whoa. Would love for this to slow down. So it's a good shot that'll guarantee the force. The steal was possible if you were above the T-line, but, well, I mean, it's still possible, obviously, if Taylor Reese Hansen misses, but she'll have the entire forefoot to draw to here for her single. What kind of time are we thinking? That 75? Yeah, I think 75 seems to be good with rooms down. Okay. It seems to be, like, coming off. Yeah. yeah, so that was a 14-8, and Megs was a 15-6. That's just the difference between, I think, brooms down versus brooms up. Yeah, so. mm -hmm. yeah 75. Okay, yep, I like it. Yeah. You got it, buddy. It's like you can. Yeah. 
So final stone here for Taylor Reese Hansen in BC1. Needs a piece of the forefoot for one. This looks a little bit heavy. So they might need a piece of this yellow here. Will it sit? Will it sit? They cannot carve it enough and it goes by everything. Wow, unfortunate for Taylor Reese Hansen. Her first draw of the game slides deep. Alberta one steals two. They'll have a three nothing lead into the third. Storms are coming. There she goes. <laughs> Yay! I'm gonna need a new tractor. So a well-played second end by Alberta One put just enough pressure on BC. They now lead 3-0. Taylor Reese Hansen unfortunately sliding a little deep on her final stone. So we'll see if BC can find their way back into the game here. Mine's good. Curling now. Top four. Top four. Yep, gotta go line. Top four. Mine's good. Mine's good. Line only. Line's good. Back, four, back eight. Would love for this to stop before the tee line, and it does. So nice shot there from Sydney Brills. Does poke out the other side, though. You're about three feet under the post. So a freeze called here for Zoe Cinnamon. We talked about this yesterday on the broadcast, but. Uh, it's been a very busy year for this Gray Withers team, and they've had an excellent year. We already talked about their world ranking, but they played 73 games this season, which also leads the field here. They played in 14 spiels. And in addition to that impressive U Sports win, they also won the Next Gen Classic over Abby Marks. And they were the Alberta Scotties bronze medalists, losing the semifinal to Kayla Skurlick. So a very, very solid year on tour for them. and. They definitely look like they're going to be one of the premier teams in Alberta with uh, with some expediency. It's nice to see on the Alberta ladies' side. It's a lot of young teams. Kayla Skurlick, we saw Selena Sturme win this year with her team who are all under 30, and Serena Gray-Withers knocking on the door. And then you also have Graceland Richards. You have Abby Marks, Jessica Wytrychowski. Lots of great young teams in Alberta right now. It'll be shaping the, the women's game in the province for years to come. So just a little light there from Sydney Brills. BC is still lying one, but that Alberta Stone is right in front. I think taller and 
wants this to honestly be heavy so we don't leave a double. Okay. Like T-line or deeper, just because if we're here, then. Okay. T-line. Thanks, Shul. Is this mid? Say it's neutral. Okay. So come around everything here for Brianna Cullen. And if you could get shot stone here, that would be ideal. So just a little heavy there from Brianna Cullen. BC still lies one. Top four, top button. Nice top four here, bud. Okay. Yeah, I think that, that 50, 45, 50 is draggable. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I like the 45. 45 is good. Okay. You got, you got it, buddy. It, So quite a bit heavy here from Sierra Fisher too, it sounds like. And it will remove that Brianna Cullen stone into the back 12, but still not the ideal scenario for Team BC. Just a little heavy there from Sierra. I think the same thing. I don't mind that. Like I don't see them ever getting this out, so. Yeah, for Gray Withers with a three nothing lead, you might you might see them peel here. Like the risk is that you're running the red into the yellow, and if you ever picked off your own red in the top four, you're you could be in a lot of trouble. So the, that red rock there helping them, and as Serena said, it's very difficult for them to get rid of it. So sometimes you just have to play a little more offensively without the hammer and with a three point lead than maybe you'd like to, just based on the angles, and I think. If Brianna can get this one in there, Running. it's going to be tough for BC to get rid of it. But nothing yet again from Cinnamon and Clifford. Really nice. That's a nice shot from Brianna Cullen. Slid maybe just a, a, a hair too deep, but uh, they are shot. And this is actually going to force the run back out of Team BC. Got it. Nice. nice kill here, bud, just like you can. Oh, so close from Sierra Fisher to getting both reds out there. Just misses it. I think they might have, it just might have overcurled on them a hair. They were calling to curl. Did you ever play the tap? And yeah, just slight overcurl, missing the, uh, missing getting that red double, but still a nice shot from Sierra Fisher, but it is Alberta lying one. So there's some talk of throwing a guard here, and I think 
This is again a bit of a, a scoreboard dictating call here. You're up three, you'd never want to give up three here. By throwing the guard, maybe Taylor Reese Hansen makes some kind of double run to lie three, or maybe they can even come around that yellow center. So this way it takes away that danger. Nice shot from Catherine Clifford. And now Alberta lying one, three, four, and five. So just a tap up here for this Megan McGilvery. Try to tap this to Frozen. Back four, back eight. Okay, well, close. right now. Yeah, okay, back eight. Stay close. Whoa. No, back Pearl. Eight. Pearl. This is floating. Close. Starting to curl now. Starting to curl now. Don't want to miss that back red with this weight. Really nice from Megan McGillivray. Perfect tap, moves the red a hair. BC line one. So you heard the sweepers call back 12, which is probably close to where it ended up being, but it did still curl and Again, that's definitely evidence that the rocks were sharpened there as yesterday that type of weight would have seen that rock float. Whoa. So Catherine Clifford trying to answer yep. here with yep. a run back. Yep. Yep. Okay. And unfortunately ended up in the middle. They tried to call an audible to slash it into that yellow stone in the top 12, but didn't quite get there. and. My goodness, now all of a sudden, two or three is in play for Team BC. I feel like if we hit Wales, it's just going to freeze, though. I think so! I mean, this is good, too. Okay. Top four. Okay, nice top four here, bud. That's probably about back eight that you just threw. Yeah, I'm a little interested that they're not hitting the back one, or that's a little interesting to me. I know they said that uh, Serena makes the freeze, and yes, obviously if Serena makes the freeze or gets close, it might be hard for you to score two, but if she doesn't make the freeze, if she ever clicks or comes up light, you're scoring a million. But this is certainly not a bad call. Those are, you know, those were your two options. And if you can make this dead frozen, it's pretty good. You just don't want a ton of separation. You don't want to maybe leave any kind of double attempt. So Sydney Brill is trying to get this one right to the nose. And that's pretty darn good from Megan McGillivray. I don't think there's any way that Serena Gray Withers can get both of those yellows in the forefoot out. How much do you have of the five? How much do you have of this? Well, it's a half rock to get rid of the five and the one. I'm seeing if you get it like to the center line. Do you side play of the it this one, way? You get all three. So a quarter. You need to get two. That's yep. good. Heel. Do it like that. I think this will come up just a smidge. Just a smidge. Okay. So Alberta is going to try to blast here. Again, I, I don't know if you're ever getting that middle yellow out, but certainly you can get two yellows moving here. This is not easy though. Serena can only see about a little more than half of this rock from the hack. So she will have to be precise here. Yep. 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 Hard. Hard. Sweepers on it oh, right God. out of the hand. Right out of the hand. Can Brianna Cullen bring it back? She can. Now what do you got? Oh, just one. Seven, six. And this is uh, starting to turn into a potentially big scoring end here for Team BC. 
as the unfortunate part for Serena there is not only did she not get rid of the two yellows, but actually lined these yellows up in a way where it'd be very difficult to get both of them out with any type of run back. And that's before Taylor Reese Hansen throws this one. So yeah, it just looked like she was maybe a little tight out of the hand, called on Brianna right away. It was a good sweep by Brianna to miss that center guard. Obviously, if you ever tick that center guard, you're in a true catastrophe situation, but. Great to it, it is a line shot though, so just wait for Meg's call here. You want it, bud? So yeah, you heard Taylor say, the line here is really important. You just never want to set up an angle where you give Serena a triple. In an ideal world, you line all three of these up, one touching the other. Brills and Fisher on this. Got to get third shot here. Got to get third shot here. Great sweep from Brills and Fisher and a really good shot from Taylor Reese Hansen. And my goodness, Alberta's in some trouble here. Yeah, I think it is definitely yellow lying three here and. This way? Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Okay. Serena needs to make a six foot run back. You can only get two of these yellows out. And even then, I think that's tough. The yellows are lined up so well here. And of course, if you miss everything, you're giving up four. This is what we in the business refer to as damage control. You're certainly giving up at least two here and yep. trying to make it only two is Serena Gray Withers' Hi. final stone. Yep. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> and unfortunately just hits it right on the beak and so it will be an open hit for four for Taylor Reese Hansen, my goodness. The angles were just not in Alberta's favor there. I mean, Serena was very close on that and really didn't get close to getting rid of two yellows. Patient with it early. <laughs> nice 10 here, bud. Just like you can. So final stone here for Taylor Reese Hansen and Team BC1, an open hit for four yep, yep, to yep, get go themselves go. all the way back in the game. Fire. And Taylor does not like it out of her hands. Little tight. Sierra Fisher, Sydney Brills trying to hold it. Can't roll too far. And that's a great sweep. And that is four on the board for BC. Hope you had the over in this one. It's 4-3. Alberta will have the hammer when we come back. To be a successful farmer, you have to love what you do. Our farm is very much a family-run farm. It takes a lot more to run a family and run a dairy farm. 
but that means that we call upon grandmas and grandpas to help look after the kids. We spend a lot of time with our family, and we love it that way. We get up every morning going out to the barn knowing that we do this because it's a passion. I can't really describe it any other way. When you buy a lottery ticket in Saskatchewan, your money really goes a long way. More than 12,000 sport, culture, and recreation groups receive funding from Sask Lotteries every year. Keep moving it. Okay, good. Eight six. Well, it seemed like Serena Gray Withers was firmly in control of this game. A great steal of two in the second, leading three nothing. But a fantastic tap from Megan McGillivray got it all set up. The Yellow Rocks all in a row. Not much Serena Gray Withers could do about it. An open hit for four for Taylor Reese Hansen, and we've got ourselves a game here. So BC leads 4-3. Gray Withers has the hammer here. Okay, Sid. And Sydney Brills, that's uh, not ideal for her. Just maybe got a little out on her release, and that's set up two corner guards here for Team Alberta. Nice shot there oh, from Zoe Cinnamon. Good sweep from Clifford and Cullen. Nice. Can we hit BC is lying one, but that Alberta stone is dead and gone. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind this call. I think that the staggered corner guards is really not very good for you if you're BC. This is still within the five rock rule. So Sierra Fisher can't disturb that back red, but you're, you are allowed to remove your own from play. So trying to hit their own and roll to a center guard, but again, you cannot hit that red out of play. And, oh, maybe that will go into the house. Okay. So that'll work. Wasn't exactly the way they drew it up and Gray Withers will have a chance to lie three, but I Hidden do think it's probably looking a little better than it was before. Easy. So they won't get the roll, and that will leave a double here for Sierra Fisher. Alberta is lying three. Just misses the double, does Sierra Fisher. So Alberta will once again have a hit to lie three. I didn't get a time from her, so we went. Little less ice. Easy. Yep. Clean. 
big. Queen! Queen! Yep! Yes! Hard! This is curling. Hard! And that will roll a little far, but uh, not too bad for Alberta. Lying three once again. So a double and an inside roll here for Megan McGillivray. You could make the triple if you hit it thin enough. We'll go just over the top red, but does get rid of the two. Nice shot from Megan. Might have been just a, just a touch overswept there, I think. They might have had a shot at the triple. So just a freeze on top here for Catherine Clifford. That yellow guard is pretty high, so you don't want to leave these really staggered. Curl, 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 curl. Okay, that's good. Nice. Good and judge, guys. I think guys. that's Five, pretty good from Catherine Clifford. That's definitely the side of the rock you'd want to be frozen on. So we'll go here and then just try and sit here. Okay. And it will curl on that inside track. Yeah, yeah. I think the angles might be better then for us, but. I don't mind that. I just, as long as we can get this out into the open then. Back line. Yeah, like you can't. Can get to nose on okay, both ways, so. Yeah, back line. Okay. So they wanted to play the chase. I think the concern was just that if you're a little heavy, you maybe don't even get that back red out and you're almost always rolling off. So you're just going to give Serena a chance to lie two or maybe even three underneath cover. So by playing this with back line, you will leave your yellow somewhere in the vicinity of those reds. Yes, it probably still leaves Alberta lying two, but you'll have a yellow rock that you can potentially use with your next shot. So just a backline tap here for Megan. Just back Clean. Just back Clean. 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 Yep. Turn down. Yep. Back 12. Back 12. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Clean. Back whoa, whoa. Curl. Back 12. Curl. Back 12. Back eight, back 12. Well then, back straight, back straight then, straight then, straight then. Yeah, this is not quite back line weight, I don't think. This is just about back four. Okay. And I don't know how much that helps you. It didn't really move that back red far enough to make the angles good.
So just an in-house guard here. Top 12 is the call. <laughs> Sounded like the sweepers maybe thought the intention was a guard, but that's Good, basically five, exactly where Serena Gray Withers wanted it. it Alberta away. still lies first and second. How much do I have of this? Quarter. Hair less. Mm. You just try and chase it with a board. Yeah, I just. Yeah, this was the problem with Megan not throwing enough weight is that that yellow rock is actually actively hurting them at this moment. I can get shot. Yeah, I might be able to get shot over it. Because it's hard for them to get the first shot stone on the button. It's also hard for them to maybe throw a, a lot of weight and just try to pick it out using the, the stone on the right as you're looking at it. What are you seeing? Like this looks pretty good if you can get to it. Yeah. We might be able to even get this spinning too, a little bit. We also wanted to make sure we roll. Roll, I know, far enough. Like board? It, yeah, I think board. Yeah. And board. that's to move them kind of out of the board. Yeah. But. Enough. Oh yeah, it will. I'm not. I wasn't worried about throwing this kind of weight at it. I wanted a throw peel, but I can't see any of that basically. Okay, okay yeah. good board here, eleven. Yeah. Nice board here, bud. Mm -hmm. Just like you can. So they're throwing board weight here and just trying to punch that redstone on the button out into the open. No, 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 no. No. No, no, no. Curl. 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 Clean. Yep. 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 Oh. Got to get by everything here. Whoa. Whoa. And they do. And that's a really nice shot from Taylor Reese Hansen. Alberta still lying one, but uh, yeah. that helps. They were able to push that red just far enough where it's fourth shot. That was the key. And they now that yellow in the uh, top eight is helping them. Yeah, I think so. I think that's the call, honestly. Yeah. Like, make them make okay. something. That's close for them. Well, I think we want to be top four. And then we yeah. can use it as an edger. Yeah, I guess just if we put it here, she probably has some sort of double. Whereas if we take this away, then she. I think the she draw is have easier a than a hit and roll. I do too. Hit. So yeah, those are your two options. You could hit and roll off of this yellow, or you can draw around everything. I think Zoe Cinnamon's concern is valid that if you're a little bit deep on this, Taylor Reese Hansen would have an in honest. off of that and I think yellow stone on the right double, so as you're looking I'd at rather. it draw there um top four like just yeah. top four but i also understand serena's concern is that if you try to play the hit and roll and you just nose it then taylor probably has a double and and you get forced so either or is is good but this has to be very precise can't be too deep then reese hansen could freeze to it or have the in off and you can't be light either so Tricky shot here for Serena Gray Withers with her first. Cullen and Cinnamon oh. think this one is a little hot. Haven't swept Lying at all yet. Yeah, if you're going to be deep, you don't want to leave it in a in-off spot, but unfortunately, I think that's exactly what they've done. It's also open enough that, yeah, you could just come down and tap it a little bit, too. Both options are there. But even then, if I'm on it, it's probably just for two, maybe. Yeah, I like it. This 
squat is moving. So just going to come down with T-line weight, and maybe the sweepers can bump it far enough to lie shot. Just can't bump it too far, or then you might leave Serena the double off of that yellow. Yeah. That's Probably on the right as you're looking at it. Spot kick. Yeah, I agree. So even a freeze here is fine. Be very hard for Serena to score two if you dead freeze. And if you tap it an inch or two and lie shot, that's probably your best shot. Last rock for BC. Leading by one and trying not to give up two here. Don't want to be too heavy here. Just a small tap. Small tap is perfect. Just a small tap. And that is pretty good from Taylor Reese Hansen, but I do think it might have moved that red just a hair too far. And I think the double is there for three. I don't even mind a shade less, Serena. Okay. Right here? Yep. Just about two feet too heavy for Taylor Reese Hansen. Half a rock. And this is a shot for three. Final stone, Serena Gray Withers looking for the double for three. Nothing yet from Cullen and Cinnamon. Does she have anything? No, she does not. So an opportunity missed there for Alberta. A steal of one for Team BC. We'll head into the fourth end break with BC leading by two. Sorry. running any kind of farm comes with day-to-day -day challenges. We built a new facility two years ago. Technology has totally revolutionized dairy farming. Fast Milk gives us the tools to provide high quality standard of milk, making sure our equipment is all well taken care of, make sure that those animals are housed and cared for appropriately. They continue to push us with their standards to make sure that it just gets better and better. Storms are coming. There she goes. <laughs> Yay! I'm gonna need a new tractor.
Hello, curling fans, and welcome back to continuing coverage of the 2024 SGI Canada Best of the West, live from the Nutana Curling Club here in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. John Cullen here with you for this final women's round robin game. Lots of playoff implications on the line here for Team BC1, Taylor Reese Hansen, and Team Alberta 1. Serena Gray Withers and Reese Hansen down three nothing early have stormed back with a four and a steal and they now lead five three. Winner of this game will move on to the playoffs. Loser may need a little bit of help to get there depending on the results from the other game. So we see First rock in the house for Sydney Brills and Zoe Cinnamon throws up the corner guard and we'll give you some updates on the other games. Emily Bowles in the other pool needing a must win, sorry, needing a win to potentially get themselves into the playoffs against team Christy Watling and so far so good for them. They lead four to two in a battle for first place in the other pool between Kayla Skurlick and Jessica Wytrychowski. Kayla Skurlick on the steel line. train. They've line. stolen the last three ends and they lead that Sorry, one girl. five nothing over Wytrychowski. Both of those girl. teams are in the playoffs girl. already, girl. but a win for Skurlick would Keep get them that line. all important semifinal bye. Beside them, it's Emily Cherwinski yeah. playing off okay. against Bailey Cosma, Cherwinski was leading 3 nothing, but then gave up three in the fourth, so that's tied 3-3. Cherwinski has the hammer playing five. Holly Halfley also needing a win to stay alive against Sherry Just, and they are also looking like they're on the path as they lead Sherry Just 6-1. to one. That one's in the fifth, Just with, with hammer. And then the game we're most interested in, Abby Marks against Graceland Richards. If Abby Marks wins that game, they will win first in the pool. If Abby Marks loses, then that potentially brings Emily Cherwinski back to life if they were to beat Sherry Just. And it is Abby Marks leading that one four to two. Graceland Richards has the hammer. They're playing five. Good. Five, five. So BC lying two here and Alberta deciding to ignore those stones and going around the corner. And they do a very nice job of that. Zoe Cinnamon dead burying it. Got it. Mine's good. Toppy. Easy right now. So another rock on top of the pile here for Sierra Fisher. Cullen going to try to get some oh, rocks moving here. Girl. 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 Good. And that's really nice. Gets rid of one yellow and sits right on top of the other two. And with a two point lead, we're going to see BC Peel here. I think the only unlucky thing for Alberta is just where that Cullen stone rolled. I don't know if they hit the top one if they touch that back yellow, which is probably why we're seeing Reese Hansen peel here. Yep, 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 yep. Hard, 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 hard. Well, this is really over curling. And they'll get the peel the other way. Why not? Just looked a little tight out of the hand. And we got a big score update from the Emily Cherwinski Sherry Just game. Cherwinski with five in the fifth end. So they now lead eight to three. Again, if Emily Cherwinski wins that game, that'll bring them up to three and two, but they'll need some help. They'll need Abby Marks to lose. 
in order to get themselves into the playoff picture potentially. So the corner guard replaced by Brianna Cullen. Very nice. Do you think you can or no? Yeah, I don't. I don't think the chase is there. You, you, I mean, you could. You could chase it, but you'd have to paper the guard to make it happen. Sure, why not? <laughs> Couple missed but made peels from BC. Sierra Fisher's over curls and they get the peel anyway. Megan McGillivray's over curls and they get the double. Pull in. Got to be good to be lucky, I guess they say. Pretty good. Yeah, feels good. Yeah, you got it. But the corner guard is still up. It is just yellow now, but that won't bother Team Alberta. Catherine Clifford. Looking for the come around. Lines close, maybe hair tight. Top 12, Kate. Top uh, eight. Lines good. Running good. Top eight. Top Line, 12. Lines good. Top eight. Lines got a curl just a shape. No, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. Too late. We're good. Top four? Yeah, we're good. Nice. Really good. Very nice shot from Catherine Clifford. BC is still lying two here. Yeah. Like board weight. Okay. I like it. Stay close here. Like I think it probably will. So they're gonna attempt to chase this red here. stone by going out into the yeah, wings here. Mine really came down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just board. Yeah. So. Board. Yeah. Just like a solid board. Positive on this one, buddy. You got it. Close. 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 Critical Close. shot here yeah, for yeah. Megan McGilvery. Yeah. Cannot hit the guard here. Oh. Sydney Brills on this right out of the hand. Can they get it by? Can they get it by? No, they cannot. That's and so now the door opening up a little bit here for Alberta. You can see again, closing. yeah, from that angle, they cannot get rid of both yellows, but. Yeah, we could do that. I like the hit and this will squirt here. Yeah, I like that shot. Easy. Definitely some potential in this setup here for Team Alberta. Man, easy yep, hard, yep. hard, hard, hard. Almost bump. Yep. This is tight yep. out of the hand. Almost bump. Hard. Zoe Cinnamon really Whoa. trying to keep it out there. Yep. Yes. Hard. Whoa. Whoa. Hard. Whoa. hard. No roll. Just maybe a little less weight than they were expecting from Catherine Clifford too, as it doesn't yeah. remove that BC yellow stone from the house. And I think if Taylor Reese Hansen hits this red, BC will be lying three. The call was for easy for Catherine Clifford, and that just that looked like it was maybe closer to hack. A little flop under here. Yeah, yeah ten. The only thing for BC here is you got to be very conscious of jamming it on that yellow Thanks at the back. Don't hate throwing board. A little more. It's just edge on edge. Yeah, a little more. If you were yeah. to ever jam it's that red stone, edge. you're in that's huge that's trouble. Yeah, sure. So that's the main thing to avoid here. Yeah. But yeah, if you could ever get just inside yeah, of this so one, like it's uh, pretty good. Almost, so. yeah. yeah. You got it, buddy, just like you can. Yeah. 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 
Well, they're in no danger of jamming, but they might be in danger of hitting this guard. Oh my goodness. They just tip off the guard. They do get rid of one red stone, but. Do we play this? I think so. Still leaves a multiple score in play here for Team Alberta One. This is a crucial shot here for Serena Gray Withers to try to get things set up for Alberta. Just wants to hit the inside of this red stone onto that back yellow and roll. Where does that roll to? That's pretty good from Serena Gray Withers. Alberta lies three. Oh, we're three now, hey? Mm -hmm. That's really nice from Serena. There's no obvious double here either. Probably. It's fine, they'll have a draw for two. Yep. I just worry if we do this, then they have a for three. Yeah. And it also might jam there too. Yeah. I like it. I think as thin as you can, basically. Yeah. But wait. Yeah, yeah. This is the when I said there was no doubles, I just meant no double. That's great for BC. They can make this thin double, but it would give Serena an open draw for two, as you're uh, yeah. you're likely always spinning up here. And it's not easy with this thin double because they they do have to move that back red one far enough to kill it. Yeah, nice kill here, bud. You got it. Definitely don't want to give up three here if you're Team BC. So big shot, Taylor Reese Hansen. Last rock looking for the double. Yo, please. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Hard. Sydney Brills on this right away. This is tight. Hard. This is tight. They're by the guard. Now, do they have the double? Does it go far right enough? It, right yes, it right does. Up. What a sweep from Sydney Brills. Taylor Reese Hansen a little tight out of the hand. Brills brings it all the way back. And BC manages to uh, not give up three here. Very nice shot. Probably give us the same she gave last time. Yeah. He's the four foot. Speed's nice here? Yeah, same as you gave on your first last time. Okay. Final stone, Serena Gray Withers needs a piece of the forefoot to score two. Mine's good. I think you got a goal. I pulled that. Tell me. Mine's great. Cullen and Cinnamon on this right out of the hand. Serena said she pulled back. Did she pull back too much? Did she pull back too much? Did she pull back too much? Oh my goodness, she did. Cullen and Cinnamon put everything they can into it, but it does not get there for the second point. So BC will take a one point lead and the hammer Sorry, into end two, number so six.
everything I've worked for, everything I've sacrificed has led to this. It's out of your hands now. All the gold medals in the world can't help you now. You can throw the perfect rock and still miss. But it just takes one. You leave it all out there on the ice to leave behind a legacy. So it was an opportunity lost for Serena Gray Withers, unfortunately, in the fifth end, just needed to touch the forefoot for a second point and came up a little bit short. So BC has the one point lead and the hammer here in the all important sixth end. We'll see if Alberta can put some pressure on. They did have a big steal of two earlier in this game, so we know what they're capable of. shot there from Zoe Cinnamon right on top of the BC Yellowstone. Zoe's had an excellent game so far. I know as a, a lifelong lead, you always, I always at least loved when the rocks got sharpened up. Just gives you a little bit more freedom. You can be a little bit more positive with your throw and just really dial into weight and you don't have to worry about the release at all. And uh, I think we're seeing that from Zoe and from Sydney too. They've they both had nice games, but uh, to my eyes, Zoe's got to be in the 90s somewhere. Top eight. It's really coming down. Okay, it's close. Yep, go ahead, see. Yep, 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 yep. But there you go. You see it from Sydney too. Great shot there. And uh, we don't always see this. This kind of looks like the type of play we'd normally see around a center guard, but it's around a quasi corner here. So that's probably why we're seeing Gray Withers run nice. this back. I think this is pretty close. It has been going falling less? here decently aggressively with their throws. Run back for Brianna Cullen. Get! Get! Think you can get Hard! both yellows out if you hit this Hard! right. Hard! And okay, just, fine. just misses it and keeps that Yellowstone in the house. A little unfortunate there for Brianna. Up one with hammer here definitely gives you some options. You'd love to score in this sixth end, but a blank here isn't terrible either. The only thing you don't want to do here is give up a steal. So don't mind this call. And if you ever do make the, the roll to the corner guard, it's pretty good. Definitely do not want to touch those stones in the house. Oh boy. Just made the shot for Alberta there. Did Sierra Fisher. Now Alberta has a chance to lie free. That's uh, it's an unfortunate miss. I think one of those, you gotta be aware of the pro side when you're in the hack and you just could not do that. Pro side there would have just been a straight, a straight rip and you roll out. You don't have to get too aggressive for that corner guard. Still not a super dangerous situation for Reese Hansen, but uh, Alberta can lie three here. Clean. Good throw. 
And that's very Hi, nice Jim. from that's Brianna cool. Cullen. Alberta does indeed lie three. Now you gotta run. <laughs> So a run back here for Sierra Fisher, and we have our first final. Emily Trewinski does her job, beats Sherry Just in six ends. So now they'll be waiting with bated breath. They need Abby Marks to lose that game. Curl, 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 got it. Okay, okay, that's fine. And will not get any of the reds in the house. For Catherine Clifford, maybe a hair deeper than they would have liked it. This will leave a triple for Megan McGilvery. All right, Meg's kaboom. You got it, Meg. Three quarters is real close. Okay. I like that. I like that way of getting Heel. pumped up. Sierra says, okay, Meg's kaboom. You got it. And this would be a big shot if Megan can make it. Just unfortunately killed it a little early with the sweeping and they don't actually get any reds out. They do get rid of that red grouping, but Alberta still lies three. And again, it's not a great steal situation for Alberta, but if you can have your opposition skip drawing against a pile in a close game like this, that's a good spot to be in. I think it depends, are we trying to steal or are we trying to force? I think so, top 12. Yeah, I think if we go there, they're wrapping it all, and then Serena has some tough shots, and I want to make sure she has problem makes. Okay. I think this gives them easy shots for one, though, whereas if you put up a guard, you might get a steal. I just think, like, I like my yeah, of course. So the debate is whether you throw a guard here or whether you come in the house. I just think if you throw up a guard, I don't know that that makes a steal any more likely than... I drawing in the house. No, I think she's coming around yeah. and then you can cap. Um, you're we have a time out too. But which outcome do you want? I think I, think I don't mind forcing here. Like, yeah. I like going top 12. Like, she yeah. still has to make some shots. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, I like open. So it does sound like they will be bringing this one into the rings, top 12. Serena's so thinking objective is just force here, so. So they're talking about the end objective. Serena Gray Withers says she would like to force here. I think before the end, you probably would have said it was steel, but again, I don't know that this is a, a gilded edge steel situation here. Even if you throw the guard, you're still relying on a pretty big miss from Reese Hansen. So just top 12 on the center line here for Catherine Clifford. Pretty close to where they wanted it. Slight over curl, but. Big, let's just try and make this. Yeah, I, like yeah, it. I think there's 
just a little thin. You there's there's just the way – the thing with this it. shot for Alberta is you're, you're never giving up two. You throw the guard, there is the possibility that Reese Hansen draws around it and it brings two into play. Yes, it does bring the steal into play, but it's maybe a little more risk than you want to take on, so – Looked like a, maybe a little extension there from Megan McGilvery trying to add a bit of weight to that stone, and it just never came back. And right. got it. now you're now this is turning into a potential steal situation here for Gray Withers. If you could put this one right on the center line, there's not a lot of draw paths for yeah, Taylor Reese Hansen. Yeah. Like back T line back four ish. Give me the same kick, and you can also so tap it up, which it sounds like that's what they're doing yeah, yeah. here. Okay. I felt like I took off like six feet, so <laughs> sorry about that. Do you guys like this broom? I think it's neutral mask. Oh, yeah. I think they really yeah. work in there. Yeah. In the yeah. You got, got it. it. So Serena Gray Withers already lying four without the hammer. Line's good. Looking to apply Round. some pressure here. Top four. Round. Top Round. four. Okay, line's good. T. Trying to draw Round around tight. everything here. T. Tight. Tight. T. This is tight. really diving in there. Do they get it by? Oh my goodness, that just went straight sideways. Still ended up in a pretty good spot for Serena. Alberta lies five. Just catching an, enough of that top one. I'm honestly tempted just to weld it though, and then hopefully I have a play at it on my next one. Yep. And if I don't, then I don't. At least it's not five or six. Yep. Um, yeah, I, think I like it. So you heard Taylor say they're just going to freeze here, which would not make them shot stone. But she said, you know, maybe I get a play on it with my last one. And if I don't, well, if we give up one, that's not the end of the world here. She wants to avoid a situation where she's drawing against five or six on her last one. Especially with the way those reds are positioned at the top of the house, there's not a there's not an easy draw path into the forefoot for Taylor. All right, Got it, buddy. Well, this is a big shot here. Anything light is a disaster. Anything heavy is also not very good. You got to be pretty precise here. This is where Serena Gray Withers really curled. And that is really not in a good spot for Taylor Reese Hansen. I think it's yellow over. <laughs> yeah. Just getting that stagger. I think so. Makes it so that she pretty much cannot get yeah, at that back red one. We're one, two. Do you guys like tapping this up to be three? I think if anything, we want to hit the center line side, not high side. Yeah, so like tap it on an angle, or do you like just tapping it straight back? Tapping it straight back? She has, what does she she's have? playing the intern. I mean, she's what if playing. she could play the intern? Do we ever just want to guard the center? I think we guard. And okay, so that, okay, so if we tap, she's playing that, but I mean, that's pretty far. I don't think we want to be on the center line side, because that do makes Do we the, want to choose to? I honestly think if we do this, that's a really hard shot. So I think this. 
Because that is a really hard shot to plant it. Like they're almost over, like yeah, over. Yeah, I think I'd want to tap it to back four, over top four, just so she can't come off. Okay. But I do like this. Yeah, I like this too. Um, I think we can play this path. I think it'll hold that where it starts to curl is in that slide yeah. path. Do you ever like playing across the slope? Or you I like guess we did see yours. Yeah. And it stopped in that spot. So I gave you here. I think with back four, that should be really close. And your tolerance is back four to like top eight. Yeah. Like even if you and just yeah, move it an weight. inch. Yeah, yep. that's my weight window. Okay. So that's a uh, two minute conversation on exactly how to twist the knife here. Already lying two, just deciding exactly where you want to tap this redstone up to. The key thing here is you don't want to set up some kind of angle for Taylor's yellow stone that she just threw. Right now, I don't think there's any way it's hitting that red stone that's in the forefoot. Well, my weight window, so I think the middle of my weight window is like top four. But we don't, I don't think we want to tap it to top four though. I just think we need to pick either a small tap or a big tap. Because that's four feet different. Where do we want it? Top four. Top four. So yeah. give you how much more? If you want a top four, give us a save. Okay. So yeah, the concern again is you just, you don't want to tap it into a situation where you maybe give Taylor Reese Hansen an angle double. So you either need to be deep, you need to be back four, or you need to just be kind of biting the top four. So already lying two is Team Alberta. This needs to curl a mile. You do Zoe. not want to unlock that yellow stone. Keep do going, not want going, to touch that going, yellow stone going. at all. Oh no. Okay. okay, okay. It's not a bad shot for Three Serena, seven. but you have given Taylor Reese Hansen an out yeah. here. Do we ever try it then? I think so. And then there's not a lot of risk if we miss it because probably, yeah. This was going into we might have actually left Taylor a shot for two here. A little what, sorry? A little tap or something. I'm scared to tap it because if I'm ever heavy. Yep, no, that's fair. We have seen this spot. We could also draw here too. This is there. This is so steep, but it is there. You're, yeah, you're probably it's rolling out. Just for one, I'd say. So, this is, well. I think it's makeable for two. Really sideways. Through here, yeah. Whatever you're seeing, if you're feeling... I think if I'm BC, I would be inclined to throw the double just because you don't want to give up a steal of two here. Draw, Meg. Yeah, okay. I like it. And play it to chop, chop a little. Yeah. yeah, so kind of that just two the line. The same, like same line we just had, I'll just get them two feet more here. Okay, that was a 15 for reference, okay. so... So Taylor says she's seeing the draw. That is a really mighty tight level, port. It's so flat. Like, it's a redirect. You don't like this nose on our yellow? Yeah, the, the nose on the yellow is also there for one. The, the risk with that is if you if ever, ever hit it through the hole, you you're giving up a steal of four. Right or even five, it's depending it's on how far your shooter rolls. So, yeah, there is some risk. But uh, as I say, I'm a little surprised not, not seeing them throw the double here because a miss here, you could give up a steal of two, whereas the hit, you're probably only giving up one. So final stone for Taylor Reese Hansen. It's been a tough end for Team BC, but does have a chance to get them out of it. Lines close. This is a tight yes. porch. You've got to navigate through. Line looks very close. 
Line is close. Are you by the top? No, you're not. And you are giving up a steal of two. Very close try from Taylor Reese Hansen, but just wicks that top yellow, and it's a steal of two for Alberta. My goodness. To be a successful farmer, you have to love what you do. Our farm is very much a family-run farm. It takes a lot more to run a family and run a dairy farm. But that means that we call upon grandmas and grandpas to help look after the kids. We spend a lot of time with our family, and we love it that way. We get up every morning, going out to the barn, knowing that we do this because it's a passion. I can't really describe it any other way. The live sports experience is changing. Teams and facilities are under pressure to provide online and in-venue entertainment. IKS Live has the right team to deliver. We provide service across North America and produce the best fan experience in the seats or streaming to you. IKS Live continues to bring you the best seat in the house. It's been a back and forth game all afternoon long and Serena Gray Withers finding a big steal of two in the sixth end. So they now lead six to five here in the seventh end. And uh, kind of looks like maybe both teams are okay with a blank here. Medium up. We saw the first stone in the house from Zoe Cinnamon. Taylor Reese Hansen hit it. And we're going to see the teams exchange hits here so far. We'll see if Reese Hansen decides to throw a corner or if they're happy with the blank and the hammer in eight. And it looks like indeed they are. And I would be too. We do have a few finals here this afternoon that we can update you on. Emily Bowles was victorious in their game over team Christy Watling. So that improves Bowles to three and two. And that will potentially get them into a playoff. Actually, well, they need Holly Halfley to lose for that to happen since Halfley did beat them yesterday. And uh, Halfley right now is beating Sherry just uh, six to three. So if Halfley were to win that game, that pool will break clean. Well, it's going to break clean anyway, but... No last stone draw needed is more what I was meaning. Kayla Skurlick also defeating Jessica Wytrychowski. So that pool almost completely settled. Kayla Skurlick, by virtue of that win, will finish first and get a bye to tomorrow morning's semifinals. Wytrychowski will also make the playoffs at 4-1. and one. And then we'll just wait to see if Holly Halfley wins. They will join them in the playoffs. And over in that game between Abby Marks and Graceland Richards, it is four to three, Abby Marks leading in the seventh and they have the hammer. Again, if Abby Marks wins that game, they will win the pool and both of these teams will qualify for the playoffs regardless of the result of this game. It's okay, it's okay. okay. And Sierra okay. Fisher, unfortunately, okay, popping that one out. And so now all of a sudden a force materializing potentially for Team Grey Withers. Emily Cherwinski did her job as well. Didn't update you on that one, but that was a, a victory for them over Bailey Cosma. 
So Emily desperately needs Abby Marks to win. Need this one in yeah. the house from Brianna Cullen, but that's going to come up well short. Six, six. Okay, that's okay. Ten. So it looked like we were heading to Blanksville here, but now I'm not so sure. Corner guard in play. Ten here, buddy. Yeah, you got it. Just like you can. And okay, Sierra okay, Fisher okay. making the same mistake a second okay. time. Okay, My goodness. I think even if you're Just a little low, extension like, on those thing. hits. And okay. uh, I'll give you like neutral to max. This is kind of interesting for Gray Withers too here because that is a corner guard. So you don't want to be too deep here and maybe give Reese Hansen a chance at a, a little sneaky deuce. So unfortunately for Catherine Clifford, that rock is wide open. BC could hit and roll behind this corner guard. Hoping for the curl. roll behind the corner, but this will need to curl, curl quite a ways for that to happen. Curl, 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 curl. Okay. And that will end up okay, just off the curl. nose for curl. Megan McGilvery. Easy. So you want to keep the play away from the corner yep. guard here if you're Alberta, but you also don't Wait. want to set up a double. Yep, 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 yep. Little roll, Zoe. Oh, and okay. that's pretty good. Good, good sweep. 10-1. That rock, I think, is also in a spot where if you roll behind the corner, I don't know that you're necessarily shot. Okay. Same throw, bud. You got it. So that's in a pretty good spot for Alberta. So calling a bit of an audible there as Megan McGilvery was maybe a little wide there. I think medium. Here. Trying to group like the stones and Serena Gray Withers yeah, will try to roll yeah. away here. Just a shade more. Yep. Medium. Try and roll back.
Yep. 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 Hard. Yep. 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 Really hard. Gotta go. Can't roll out oh. here. Serena Gray Withers. Whoa. A little tight on the intern, but a good sweep from Brianna Cullen to bring it back and get the separation they were after. Nice shot. Definitely a little bit of panic there when she let it go, but ends up pretty much exactly what they wanted. And so for Taylor Reese Hansen, I don't, this is a really steep double, but if you could ever group the stones or hit and roll in front of that red, it's not too bad. this spot before. Yeah, sure enough. Just stay with the roll, Sid. Yep. You got it, buddy. Yep, yep. Oh. No, no, no. Close. Close. Clean, clean, Close. clean, clean. Yep, yep. Whoa. A really good try there from Taylor Reese Hansen. Hit it exactly where she needed to, but probably needed to throw that about one yeah. second faster to get that yep. red stone out. I think it'll come up similarly to your left. Yeah, I think so. Do you like a little more? Like, yeah, I'll set? give you a better mini okay. set. Uh -huh. So another look at that, the hit and the roll. Nose just doesn't quite push that red stone out. Put this medium again, same weight. Sorry, same weight? Yeah. Okay. So really the key here for Serena is you just can't roll out. Setting up a double doesn't really matter here. Just need to keep this redstone in the house to keep the force on. Yep. 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 Good. Yep. And same thing here yep. for Gray Run. Withers, just maybe a little tight on that intern. Okay. That's good. But I think that will do the job. I don't know that there's, well, the, you, you could get aggressive for the blank if you really wanted to, but you'd have to hit it very thin and throw a rocket. Yeah, pretty gradual here. Certainly okay. wouldn't be worth it. So it'll be a force here for Taylor Reese Hansen. Unfortunately, a couple misses from Sierra Fisher and Ten. Yeah. Gray Withers will most likely be tied up coming home with So final stone, seventh end, Taylor Reese Hansen. Hair soft. Yeah, hard, yeah, hard, yeah. Hard, hard, Needs hard, this hard. right on the beak. Hansen, keep it there. Hansen, keep it there. Hansen, Can't afford to roll too far here. Cannot afford to roll too far. Do they have the audible double? Yes, they do. Taylor Reese Hansen sounded like maybe she came over the top of that one a little bit, but. Thankfully had that other red there to catch it. We are all tied. Alberta will have the hammer when we come back. Don't go anywhere. running any kind of farm comes with day-to-day -day challenges. We built a new facility two years ago. Technology has totally revolutionized dairy farming. 
Fast Milk gives us the tools to provide high quality standard of milk, making sure our equipment is all well taken care of, make sure that those animals are housed and cared for appropriately. They continue to push us with their standards to make sure that it just gets better and better. Welcome back, curling fans. SGI Canada, best of the West. Yet another tide coming home end here on the stream. I guess we've been good luck all week for the fans because basically every other game out on the sheets is done except for us and the Abby Marks Graceland Richards game. So we've been treated to some great curling here on the stream sheet in Saskatoon. And for Taylor Reese Hansen, unfortunately getting forced in that seventh end. So Serena Gray Withers has the hammer coming home here and would love to get the win. You got it hard. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Over in that other game, though, Abby Marks did score two in the seventh end. So they lead 6 3 over Graceland Richards. Were Abby Marks to win that game, they would win the pool. And these two teams would both make the playoffs. Gray Withers would have the higher seed. Two center guards up here for BC and no ticks attempted, even though they're both off the center line here for Alberta. Zoe Cinnamon going to draw around. Toby, line's good. Line's really good. Room. Finish just a bit. Finish just a bit. Hard by the center. Hard. Really good. Great manage. 5-1. Yeah. Or he come around. Yeah. Or you could just try and tap it a sliver high and move him around. Am I not? Hack. Okay. Even even a little high on this one's good, right? Yeah. So just hack weight here for Sierra Fisher. Trying to move these two red stones. So nice hack weight there from Sierra Fisher pushes that redstone to the back 12 and we're going to take a look at our shot of the night or I guess in this case the afternoon presented by IKS Live. We're going to go all the way back to, to the jamming. first end. If you remember Alberta one was set up for a potential three or four. Taylor Reese Hansen Did needed to make a, a double to prevent Maybe the trouble and okay. she did. It ended up with Alberta getting forced in that first end. And so that is your IKS Live shot of the night. Double peel now for Brianna Cullen. Yes. 
just missing the two yellow stones there. You would have been fine taking either the guard or the yellow in the eight foot. Very close. Yeah. And this is probably coming back. Can we get almost straight to the face of it so if it comes back, it stays? What's that? Like, can we almost tap right into the face of it so if they run it, it Yeah, stays? I think you want to leave a bit of an angle for us, but... Yeah. Top eight. Top eight, wait here, bud. So just going to freeze on this red one is Sierra Fisher. Mine's good. Top eight. Top 12. Whoa, easy right now. Whoa, whoa line. Top eight. Go ahead then. Top eight. Top eight. Yep, yep. Hard six. Top four, top eight. Hard. Hard. Hard six. Hard, six. Hard. you got a good one. Yep, right to it, right to it. Hard. Hard, hard, hard. Sorry, beauty. Great throw. Really nice shot from 15, Sierra Fisher right on the nose. Alberta lying one. Yeah, I still like the, uh, the chop here if you're Brianna Cullen. If you could get that yellow one out of the eight foot, that would be ideal. This is close. Oh, just missing. Great try from Brianna Cullen. Just needed a couple more licks from Zoe Cinnamon and they would have had it. So guard going back up here for Team BC. 65. And we may see the end delay itself a little bit here. Probably a couple guards and a couple peels if I had to predict. Mine's good. Mine's good. Mine's good. Two. Mine's good. Go ahead then. Running pretty good, guys. Not curling. Not curling. Sierra's rock. No. Sierra's rock. Yeah, that's okay. Three. Girl. Easy. Line is pretty good. good. Sierra. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Good. Good, Meg. Nice throw. Pretty Meg. Nice shot there from Megan McGilvery. And I think we will see Catherine Clifford again chase this double peel. Like a third. It'll come back like a quarter of a rock. A little tight out of the hand. Zoe Cinnamon trying to bring it back. Okay. And that will not get the yellow and will actually stay up front. Not in a super dangerous spot for Alberta, but yeah, it just seemed like it was maybe a hair tight out of the hand for Catherine Clifford. Sweepers on it right away. And we will see the guard go back up. We'll be back, of course, at 4 p.m. local time this afternoon. 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific for the final men's round robin draw. It'll be Jordan McDonald from Manitoba up against the undefeated Rylan Kleider from right here in Saskatoon. Should be a fantastic game. Okay, line's good. It's a slower slide. Easy. Always curl. Where are you? Are you to it? Two and a half. Hold on. Okay, just clean it, Sid. Just clean it, Sid. Yep, a little bit. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep. good, good. Good, Meg. Good. Time out. <laughs> All right, so we are going to get a timeout called here by Team Alberta. Coach time. Amanda Saint Laurent will head down for a chat with the team. Great 
Taylor Reese Hansen uh, does not have their coach here with them this weekend, so maybe I'll go down and just we ever do something now? give them an inspirational pep talk. Because they still have to do something. Yeah. What's your first thought? Either the peel or the play off the floor. Yeah, I don't think they're ever wrapping. I think that they're probably playing the nose, and then um, I'm probably drawing to the top four, which is okay. Yeah. I just don't want to have to bite the button or something. Yeah. I don't mind making them make the nose okay. and actually sticking there. She hasn't made really many precise hits, so. Okay, let's. let's I think I like double. the heel. Okay. So, and if we can clip the four, then we're in exactly. extra good shape. Yeah. yeah. I don't mind the same room, and I'll just throw it a little so, yeah. more aggressively okay. in the Let's the do loose. that. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> Can't let the coach go without fist bumps. That would be a travesty to the game. So fist bumps given to Amanda St. Laurent, and I agree with the call. I think the peel here is what you're always doing, and I, I think I, I like what Team Alberta said, that uh, even if you continue to peel and Taylor Reese Hansen eventually wraps behind that yellow-red situation in the top eight, you're almost always going to have a run back. Taylor would have to line it up so precisely to not give you some kind of run back for the win. So I do like the peel call here. And if you could get rid of that yellow finally, that would also be helpful. Really close. Okay. I think that's not too bad, but it did poke BC into shot. Just 10. So Taylor's just going to hit this right on the nose and lie three. And yeah, I don't I don't mind the call here. Serena will have to make a hit and roll. The one unfortunate thing for anything, Serena is they do have uh, that red stone now. Side. That red stone right beside Megan McGilvery's broom is choking off the outturn draw path for Serena. Okay, buddy, you got it. Just watch him move good. Clean. Ten. Clean. Clean. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Whoa. Yes. First stone oh. for Taylor yeah. Reese Hansen yeah. in the eighth. Oh. Wants to hit this one Girl. right on the Girl. beak. Girl. 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 And that's pretty good. I don't think it set up a triple. Double goes pretty easily, but I don't know that the triple is there. I don't think so. If I'm low? Yeah, I don't think so either. And we do have a final over on sheet eight, Abby Marks defeating Gracelyn Richards. So that makes the result of this game a little less relevant as Abby Marks will win the pool and that will eliminate Emily Cherwinski and both these teams will get into the playoffs. Just easy. I'll give you a good mini set here. Trying to roll under. Yeah, I like to roll. Better to roll big. Okay. Pardon? Even a little bit of roll big is fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rolling big is fine. Okay. I just want to be shot. <coughs> All right, so a hit and roll here for Serena Gray Withers, and with those yellow rocks staggered, that's pretty good if you can get in behind. Whoa! 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 Whoa!
Sit. Don't want to roll too far. Sit. Nope, nope, nope. Good. <laughs> and that's a very nice spot for that one. Does roll maybe a hair too far. Could give Taylor Reese Hansen the draw here. So I've, I've actually been informed that uh, the top teams in the pool advance, but then it's the next four records after that. So the winner of this game would go to four and one and join Jessica Wytrychowski in the playoffs. No. And then you'd have the loser of this game, as well as Emily Cherwinski, Emily Bowles, and Holly Halfley at three and two. So we'll see who comes out of that. I don't have the LSD in front of me, but that does make this game and this shot very important for Taylor Reese Hansen. Hey, guys, how's this spot running? Just need full four here. And then just finish up if we're good. Sounds good. Just like you can, buddy. So final stone for Taylor Reese Hansen. And if this draw is made, could be very difficult for Serena Gray Withers to score. Room right now. Where is it? Not curling yet. Oh, Not curling yet. There it goes. Go. Yep. Go ahead then. Line's Line's good. Good. Line is close. Oh, real, real, oh. real. Sierra's rock. Sierra, can you go on it? Line is very go. close. Part C. Part C. They need it to really break at the end here, and they also need it to stop. Okay, it stops in time to be shot, but Serena Gray Withers will be able to get at it or draw the pin. And so okay, she's electing yes. to draw here. I don't know how much of that yellow she can see exactly, probably not a ton. So yeah, there you go, almost completely buried. So this is certainly the call here. <clears throat> Just need to draw the button. It's back four, so okay. Two more. Gotta love it. Some classic curling, tied game coming home. Skip's got to draw the button for the win. Does have a little bit of backing though here to help. Final stone, Team Alberta. Serena Gray Withers needs the button to win. Curl then. Nothing Zoe. at all like from that. Zoe Cinnamon and Brianna Cullen. This is really Keep hanging going. out there. Zoe. Keep going. Can Zoe Keep bring going. it across enough to get a piece of this yellow? No, that is to the back of the house. And it was a back and forth game all afternoon long. But in the end, Taylor Reese Hansen takes it home. So they will move on to the playoffs. We'll see where Serena Gray Withers ends up. Final men's round robin draw coming up in about 90 minutes. Hopefully you'll join us for that one. For everyone here in Saskatoon, I'm John Cullen. See ya.